This video is about DME testing using the IFR 6000 either over the air, using a coupler, or directly connecting to the DME receiver transmitter to help troubleshoot and test the system components. After selecting the DME instrument, the setup key is pressed to access the DME setup menu. The operator will then input the user defined parameters specifically for the DME instrument. The first item to set up is the method of testing for the aircraft or the receiver transmitter. Direct Connect is for connecting directly to the receiver transmitter by passing the antenna and feed line. The second method is antenna, which consists of over the air testing using the directional flat plate antenna included in the IFR 6000 kit. And lastly, direct with coupler using the IFR 6000 and an antenna coupler such as the UC584 antenna coupler to couple the test signals to the aircraft DME antenna. To avoid interference and to ensure the best method of coupling to the aircraft under test, use direct with coupling method. When using over the air testing, the antenna is mounted on top of the IFR6000 by aligning the antenna mounting bracket with the mounting holes on the rear of the IFR 6000. Turning the captured screws in the clockwise direction will tighten the mounting bracket and secure the antenna to the IFR 6000. Using the supplied one foot TNC to TNC coaxial cable, link the IFR 6000 antenna connection to the TNC connection on the antenna. The antenna can be remotely mounted on a tripod to allow the operator to control the IFR 6000 while sitting in the cockpit of the aircraft being tested. Just be sure to enter the cable length and loss of the cable used to connect the antenna to the test set. If using direct with coupler, attach the UC584 coupler to the aircraft antenna by simply placing the coupler over the DME antenna. Compress the RF gasket and toggle the locking lever on the coupler to the lock position. Any oil, hydraulic fluid, or fuel on the antenna will contaminate the gripping surfaces inside of the coupler, reducing the effectiveness of the clamping. Connect the coupler from the IFR6000 direct port to the coupler itself using the 25 foot cable. The coupler loss values are entered into the appropriate windows for the coupler loss and cable loss. Using the antenna over the air test configuration, the operator must input the test distance. This is the distance from the IFR6000 flat plate antenna to the aircraft antenna. If, the, if direct or direct with coupler is chosen, then the antenna range is blanked out. Operator input for the remaining items in the DME setup page. Note, these items are retained during the power down provided the IFR6000 is powered off using the power button. These items may not be retained if the IFR6000 powers itself off due to an inactivity. The DME instrument page allows the operator to choose the channeling using a VOR paired frequency, a direct frequency input, or by DME channel selection the most convenient being VOR paired frequency. Match the chosen frequency of the UUT to the chosen frequency of the test set. Set the desired simulated test range for the start of the test. Select the rate of change or velocity in the simulation. Adjust the RF output of the IFR6000 to the desired test amplitude. Percent reply should be set between 70 and 100%. Squitter should then be in the on condition and ident and echo should be placed as required for the testing. The range and velocity can be adjusted during the simulation by using the range and rate keys. With all of the simulation parameters set up, the operator can press the run test soft key to start the scenario. The UUT should respond with the simulated range and velocity. 
During the testing, the IFR 6000 should display the measured parameters from the DMERT, such as frequency, power output level, PRF, and pulse parametrics. The sensitivity of the receiver can be determined by reducing the RF output level until the DME loses lock on the test signal. This is usually indicated by the UET no longer displaying range or velocity.